Hola, folks. So uh, now we're going to work on uh, sweep, uh, our exercise sweep. Now, I got my part studio set up already. I've turned off front and top, uh, or excuse me, not top, front and right. So now we can go to top, and we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on this plane. That's our step one. Step two is to draw something similar to a paperclip. So uh, we're going to use our line tool, and then it tells us we can uh, use either the three-point arc tools uh, or tangent. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw all my lines just like loosely. And I actually want to make this first line based off the origin. That's going to help us immensely <laughs> later on. So uh, if you did what I did and just drew a line somewhere, redo it, start from your origin point. Uh, that, that's actually critical to this exercise. Uh, I'm going to use three-point arc just because it makes sense right now. Um, and we'll make it tangent. And um, we're just going to keep drawing this paper clip. So I got a little line here. And then uh, and we need another arc here. And then finally, another line here. And I'm just hitting A for arc and making sure my things are bent the right way and, and tangent. Um, and then L for line. I'm going to have that line finish there too. Okay. Um, now, uh, one thing that it, you, you may want to do is get these in line. You don't actually have to do that. That, that doesn't, that's not critical right now. Um, next step is actually getting them in line. So um, don't worry about it in actually drawing. You'll come back and use some constraints. So we are going to make sure stuff is first vertically aligned. So this point and this point must be vertically aligned. And then now we're going to check and make sure stuff is um, horizontally aligned. All we really need to make sure is this point and this point are horizontally aligned. Um, I think that is it. I don't believe these two are going to be uh, horizontally aligned, so don't do them. Um, that's step three. And then in step four, we start to throw some dimensions on stuff. So that dimension there is going to be 75. And let me actually just zoom in a little bit. This radius dimension is 20. Um, the distance from this point to this point is 25. The distance from this point to this point is 125 millimeters. And then this radius right here is 15. So now we're looking like proper paper clip. Um, and that is step four. Um, the whole sketch is defined. So all of these lines are no longer blue, they're black. That's what that means, defined. Um, and now we can actually um, start to um, play around with um, doing some sort of sweep. Before that, they say, hey, we can name this. So this is going to be our path sketch. Uh, and basically what a path means, it's a, a line that another shape can follow to make a 3D solid. Um, that's the simplest way to put it. So I'm going to turn off my top plane. And I'm going to turn on the right plane. And remember earlier how I said our first point needs to be on the origin. That's why it's critical, because this point right here. I'm going to make a sketch. I'm going to make it on the right plane. And what we're going to do next is we are going to make a circle. Now, um, according to the tutorial, um, the, the circle can be anywhere right now. Um, and again, uh, this is our path sketch, the sketch that we just made a moment ago. Uh, what they tell us is uh, this diameter uh, needs to be five millimeters. So it can be anywhere can be a little closer if you want to make it a little closer, but uh, we're probably going to uh, constrain it in a moment. What we're going to do, and we just want to make sure we're touching the right point, so going into isometric is ideal right now. We are going to make the center point of our circle coincident with the origin. So we're going to grab our coincident tool, click on the center of the circle, and then click on the origin. And now our circle is defined and in line with that path sketch that we just made a minute ago. So that is step eight. This sketch is going to be called our profile. 
So we have a path and a profile. This profile, if we sweep it along the path, we'll be creating a 3D shape. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna use our sweep tool. It looks like a little slinky tube up here. Uh, if you click on sweep, what is our face or a region to sweep? That is the circle. What's our sweep path? Well, that's our path sketch. Um, now, we might be able to click on path sketch here and boom goes the dynamite. We have a paper clip. So if we hit check, we hop back into our isometric view, you have a paper clip now. Now, in order to check everything out and make sure everything is good to go and so that we can get some mass properties, uh, we can rename our part here to paperclip. And in order to make it like real life, obviously this is a little bit bigger than normal. This is a huge paper clip, five millimeters diameter is pretty, pretty big. Um, we can hit on a sign material there and underneath of our drop down, we're gonna tell it it's aluminum and it's gonna be aluminum 1060. Hit the check. You already got it selected probably, or you just click on paper clip to turn it yellow. You can check your mass properties and you're good to go. So what we're going to do next, um, we're gonna loft. We're gonna learn about loft, um, pretty easy tool as well. Um, most complex one coming up probably is gonna be a coffee cup, which is a combination of everything. So I will see you then. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to leave a comment, um, that sort of good stuff. Subscribe if you like too. All right, take care, bye-bye. Thank you.